boy. Warms my heart. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. Do you have to have a home where you go outside? And he goes, not at all. If we could find him a home, that would be inside. Yes. It would be preferable. Yeah. Um, and a lot of older kitties are easier for people. It's not the kitten thing. You know, I think he would assimilate in anybody's house really well. He hasn't really lived with a dog, so that would be a problem, mm -hmm. unless it was an outside dog, because mm -hmm. he certainly has seen them here. And as far as another cat, he said, well, I don't want to invade another cat's territory if they don't want me. But sometimes if a cat has had another cat pass, mm -hmm. then a kitty like him would be very easy going. Mm -hmm. um, because if, if some owner had a cat that wasn't as affectionate and they were going to sleep all day, he said, well, then I could sit in their lap and I could take care of that problem. That's right. So he said that would be okay. So, And then I asked the million dollar question, I said, because they said a lot of people call me about kitties that don't use their cat box. Oh. And he said, I'm very consistent if I have a cat box. Yeah. And like, I yeah. swear on my paw that I would do that. And I said, yeah. well, it's on videotape now. So, <laughs> you know, if someone does adopt you, yeah. they'll call you. So, mm -hmm. so, um, so he said now that we've had an interview and you kind of know what he wants, you could make up a little, you know, up for adoption, da, da, da. and maybe even put it on pet finders. And I know a lot of animals need homes with the economy and stuff, but he knows he's very special, and maybe his forever home would, would, would kind of be here. So how does he feel? How is his health? He drools a lot. Uh, and Actually, that's a good thing, not, believe it or not. Drooling is, is the happiness. Okay. I mean, it can come from having bad teeth, and I do think he has some gum issues, and I don't want to have to challenge him and look at it now, but a lot of cats drool out of pure pleasure. And they have glands on the roof of their mouth and stuff, and they'll mm -hmm. rub things and then put their mm -hmm. scent on it. Mm -hmm. So he said, I really drool with you because you make me very happy. So that's what. <laughs> and he said, the first time you did it, you're like, oh my God, are you ill? And he's like, no, no, I'm no, just very happy. Just, okay, <laughs> thank you. Yes, that's what I wanted he's, to know. He's purring right into my hair, and he's like, yes. this is so fabulous. I love I, having these chicks yes. talk to me. Yes. So you can say to people, <laughs> not really interested in being with a dog, unless mm -hmm. it's like really quiet like a golden that will leave him alone mm -hmm. um, and would deal with an older cat that would accept him mm -hmm. and if you find something I can help you with that there's a way that you can like you would dry them. rub mm -hmm. him and put that scent into the other cat's environment see how it reacts to it. it we can do a century if those things are easy to do because I worked at a cat hospital mm -hmm. thing the old thought was give cats a lot of dry food because it helps with their teeth and it does mm -hmm. but they don't drink enough water so a lot of cats have mm -hmm. kidney issues mm -hmm. so it's actually good if he gets some wet food so if you get the okay. little tins and even one a day, he gets like, but you want to stay away from fish. Cats he's, love it. He's like cat crack, you know, so. He's picky. Okay. So even what about this, so you can't, you know, I've brought mm -hmm. wet food here for him. Okay. He wouldn't eat it. And it was little ions things. Okay. So, so does it have gravy? I, he said he doesn't want anything that's like a pate. He wants something with gravy. Oh, you know, like maybe turkey yeah. and giblets with okay. gravy or something. So you could try like maybe some of the little cans and stuff. Yeah. And some, some cats are like some people. Some people have the same lunch every day. Mm -hmm. You know, then there are other people that like, oh, I'll have sushi or something else mm -hmm. like that. So, mm -hmm. um, so we can kind of get him acclimated to that. And then and I give him fresh water. You know, good. I give I'm clean out his dish and give him a little bit Bottle of water. Makes water a difference. When I'm here. Makes a difference. It does. But I'm not here. Yeah, but you know. even you giving it, it's mm -hmm. giving him some kind of consistency where his mm -hmm. kidneys are getting flush, and that's a good yeah, thing. Good. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't he just the yeah, sweetest? Yeah, he's a darling boy. He yeah. really is. Yeah. He's a sweetheart. So when I worked at the cat hospital, we used to say that not all cats have an M on their forehead. He's got the M on his forehead. Yeah. And so being that it's Christmas time, the story is that when the baby Jesus first cried, a kitten climbed into the manger mm -hmm. and Mary put the initial on. So when you see a cat with an M, you know that blessed. they've been blessed by God. Yeah. yeah. I love that story. I think that's I think that's cool. a sweet story. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us come and visit with him. Yeah, He's just pleasure. a very sweet boy. And if things change or if you ever want to know what's going on with him, you let me know. And... I'd be happy to chat with him again. Yeah. <laughs>